Deadly Dames and this is this week's pickup video. So I did warn you that I went a little bit mad um, and ordered a few things I probably shouldn't have. There's actually probably still some things to come in the post. Um, so yeah, I'll get started. What I'll do is I'll try and do the Blu-rays first and then do some of the DVDs if they're in, in fact they're actually in no particular order so I'll just get started. So the first one I picked up is an actual um, Vinegar Syndrome release of Bloodbeat. The reason why I went after this is because I knew it was a VHS obscurity and I love um, old movies which no one has given any sort of attention to um, coming back from VHS land so that you can now see them. Uh, on that note though, this movie was absolutely mental and um, we have done a full review of it which we'll upload later but I'm still really glad that I picked it up. I actually got a really good deal for it because it's quite expensive with the slip um, vinegar syndrome as many of you know is an American company but they do multi a lot of their releases are multi-region which I absolutely love but because I'm in the UK to get it over here I pay a bomb for it whereas somebody was selling this on eBay and I got a really really good deal for it on a bid so I'm glad to have got that one I also got um, the Arrow video release of Cattle Nine Tails. Um, I can do a full unboxing of this if anybody wants to see it but for just now I'll just show it in the pickup video so loads with it, the usual Arrow video styles that there's a heap load of um, extra features in here. I haven't actually had a chance to watch this yet so I, I couldn't comment on the, the restoration work, the 4k everything but really glad to have this um, up, upgrade of it because I didn't actually have the window box blurry. Um, <laughs> I'm one of these folk if I think if I see those window boxes because I absolutely love them I probably would still pick it up but I didn't actually have it. I had the old um, Aerodrome release of it on DVD so I'm really really glad to, to finally have a blurry and a nice edition of this. Um, I also got from Strange Vice, I did buy a couple of things from them but one of them's at the bottom of my other pile here, um, the refrigerator. We have also done a review on this one because this was hilarious um, about a killer refrigerator and um, I don't know why I've been in that right funny mood for slashers and which to be fair is probably like my favourite kind of horror subgenre. Um, slashers and weird movies about inanimate objects that kill people. I just can't help myself with it. So yeah, the refrigerator. It was a lot of fun. And I also got, now actually you can get a Blu-ray release of this but it, as I said it's released, I think it's released but I want to say Severin but I may be wrong, I might be Blue Underground in America but it's very expensive to get over here and I found this one I think for £4 online. Um, it is a DVD but I just thought I, I would rather give it a go before paying a lot of money for the Blu-ray and that is um, The Lift. Um, this was okay. It was an enjoyable movie. I liked the idea of Killer Lift and I'll come to that in a wee second with another movie that I've got. Um, it was still a lot of fun watching it. There were some scenes in it where you just thought, no. Like the, the opening sequence where the four of them got locked in the lift. And what's the first thing you do when you're stuck in a lift and the aircon's not working? Yeah, let's have sex because that's what they, they do in this movie. But um, yeah, it was still a lot of fun. I'm glad to have finally seen it. And I think this is a, oh, it's a Spanish edition. Oh no, French. French edition. I'm so bad with different languages. Um, really, really glad to finally have this one. You know, I should have put the movies on the other side. Hold on. Um, really glad to finally have this one. Um, happy that Nicholas Films have started releasing a lot of Blu-rays. I still need to pick up the Demon, but um, it's the Erotic Rites of Frankenstein. This is a movie that sort of I've always really wanted to see because I know Jess Franco. He's kind of I think he's remembered for all the wrong reasons sometimes, like um, his movies are out there, they li live in another plane, but um, this is one that I've always seen, but never actually seen, if you know what I mean, I've always like seen it in the in the shops, and I've all, but when I say shops I mean VHS, I've always seen it online, and I was either too young to get it at the time, or it just wasn't available because it was online, so I'm really really glad that they've released this, and I'm looking forward to giving it a, a watch. Um, this is one from the Worker Boys channel. He had this on it and it just looked absolutely mental and I remember saying to him, is it any good? And he, he did say it's a very short movie but it's a lot of fun. And uh, it's the bloody muscle bodybuilder in hell, aka the Japanese Evil Dead. Even just that title tells me I have to see this movie. It's from uh, Terracotta who also did another film that I've got called uh, Fairy Tale Killer which was quite good. So. 
but these are this one looks absolutely mental it's only 62 minutes long i think yeah so it's not a long movie but that's fine because sometimes you need to be short film like that so looking forward to giving that a go and um, this is the other one i got from strange vice and um, i was going to get the blurry of it but it was a lot more expensive for the blurry than the dvd so that's the reason why i went for the dvd and it is a uh, dark water and i'm really sorry about the glare it's actually for once sunny in scotland so um <laughs> that's why there's glare so i do apologize this is one um that every time you type it in it obviously comes up with the japanese dark water or the american remake so it's always one that looked really interesting but i just never actually got around to picking it up or i've seen it at a decent price so i was really glad when i seen it on strange face website and it wasn't that expensive so I had to pick it up and again this is a blue underground release that always very expensive and for whatever reason i just happened to be on the internet and having a look and it, i found it really cheap so i was really glad for that and that is a death dream which is one of the horror films from the the late great bob clark that i haven't seen obviously bob clark did um, black christmas and children should play dead things i've never seen this one it's always been one of these movies which kind of eluded me but I'm really glad to finally got it. Not had a chance to watch it yet, but looking forward to giving it a go. And then this is the one which I'm currently watching, and it's basically just a remake of the the lift, but they've kind of amped it up and just like done it ten times. Excuse me, more deaths and more violence, and that is down. And I, I know again you can actually get a pretty nice um, Blu-ray release of this. It is an American company can't for the life of me remember which one it is I keep wanting to say Synapse um, or it could be Synapse it could be Synapse, Severin Vinegar Syndrome, Code Red all these great companies that they have in America it could be any of them but yeah I know you can actually get a pretty nice blurry release of this again I went for the DVD one because I wanted to know if I liked it and two because it meant I could buy more <laughs> so because it was really cheap I think it was a couple of pound online but um so far I'm really enjoying it, I'm looking forward to watching the end of it. It's actually, in my personal opinion, better than The Lift because there's a wee bit more explanation as to why it's doing what it's doing and, um, as I said, a good bit more violence in it. Um, the death scenes are a bit more interesting. So yeah, really enjoying this one so far. We're very young now we watch there. And then the last thing I picked up this week um, is uh, another Vinegar Syndrome one. Again, I wasn't actually going to buy this but it came on as a bid on eBay and it was really cheap for how much it normally is over here so I just went for it and it was a death row game show. I've always kind of wanted to see this because it, to me it looks like The Running Man but with like a slasher twist. I don't know if it's going to be any good, I've never seen it before but I'm really really looking forward to giving this one a go. I did also buy a couple of other titles which were burn on demand and um, they don't actually have cases. Now I don't normally do that but the ones that I bought are, are ones that you just cannot get over here in the UK. So I got a burn on demand of Dream Demon. It only exists in VHS over here. Um, I remember Dream Demon from my childhood and going to, again, my cousins. They were a really good influence on me, my cousins as you can tell. And they had it and I remember because they actually had the, I wish I had my Evil Dead 2 VHS down here because I could show you. But in the UK we used to have... Um, from, I think it was called Palace. Um, I think, yeah, I'm sure it was called Palace. That seems to be the picture that's on, in my mind. Um, VHS and they were like in their luminous colours. And my cousins had three of them. Uh, they had Evil Dead 2, which had the luminous green cover. And they had Creepers, which was obviously the American cut of Phenomena, which I'm pretty sure had a pink cover, but I might be wrong with that. Uh, and then they had Dream Demons, which had the luminous yellow cover and um, that's really the only way you can get dream demons so that's the reason why when i seen that one going up on, on burn on demand i just went for it plus it was really really cheap and it's probably the only way i'm going to get it if i don't own the vhs which i don't um i did get a couple of other things from that guy as well mainly just because because i know you can get dvds of these ones but they're quite expensive so i figured i'd give them a go really cheap first and then if it's a movie which I think, you know what, um, I really, really want the original, I'll, I will I know that I love them and I can get it because there's nothing worse than spending 20, 30, 40 pounds on, on something that you think you're going to love 
and then you don't like it. Um, luckily, touch wood, it hasn't happened all that often to me, but it has happened. Um, more often than not with modern films rather than old ones, but um, yeah, so that's the only reason I've not put them in this video, because they are just DVDs. But I just could help myself. <laughs> so, yeah, that's everything that I've picked up this week. Hopefully you like them, and if there's any movies in there that you want to chat about, or ask any questions about, or if there's any that you see in here that you that I've said I really like, and you know of a movie similar to it, or a movie with the kind of same feel as it that you think I would really like to see, let me know. I'm on a proper slasher streak. That was a hard line to say just now, and I'm loving all of the 1980s and early 90s and late 70s slashers that came out, and. I just really want to watch more so please feel free to recommend as many as possible to us but as always thank you for watching please like and subscribe and take care